Now you tell me, phone. Well, welcome back to Somatica. I figured. <clears throat> so normally I have the stream going when I'm at the main menu. I figured this time I'd spare us all the fucking, or at least all you guys, the pain of waiting for the screen to load because. The more assets that I get in the game, and the further down I go, the longer it takes to load. Why? Why are you here? So the last time I played this, which is over a month ago, <laughs> last time I played this was December 3rd. Hey there, buddy. It's ugly and cute. It's like a koala. It's like a koala cub. Anyway, let me turn down. So, if I remember correctly, I at least got to the disease research facility, and then I went out that way for rubies, and then somehow, a fucking amp eel, no, not somehow, an amp eel got chased all the way over here, and I had to kill the fucker, because he kept attacking my pet, and he was dangerously close to my uh, ship, or ship, <laughs> base, which... Actually, it brings up an interesting fact. I think I brought this up one ep a few episodes ago, but I'll say bring this up, bring it up again. Whenever any of the animals take any kind of damage in this game, they all immediately head for the safe shallows by default for some reason, or they're programmed to head to the deep shallows. Which thankfully it hasn't happened to anything that's dangerous, well, super dangerous at least. But which is why you be why you should be careful on your playthrough if you're ever playing this game. Because uh, if, for whatever reason, a Reaper Leviathan takes any damage, it'll come to the safe sa safe, sh safe shallows. <laughs> shouldn't be a hard... <laughs> shouldn't be a hard word. Oh, fuck off. So... It's interesting that the corpse isn't here, which concerns me. It could be it's an acid, a acid that despawned, because I... You alive? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Yeah, I remember last episode, I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to hunt down and chase- or not hunt down, but chase down and kill that stupid ampule. Alright. So, before I get started- oh no, I'm thinking of my other base. Before I get fully into the game, I'm going to check... Oh, I did get the rubies. Okay. I'm going to check to make sure that I have all that I need to upgrade Bismarck. That's right, I put everything in Bismarck. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, I'm also in here. I'm a little, a little bit. I'm a little learner. <clears throat> tripping over my tongue. I will admit, I'm a little nervous going deeper because, <laughs> uh, well, I can handle the ghost levi, the ghost, yeah, ghost leviathans. There's one more Leviathan type that I haven't come that we haven't come across yet in this series. 
and that thing is intimidating as hell because you can hear it before you can see it. Another worst thing, and to add more to and to add more stress to the situation, there's uh, what was it? Oh, there's warpers. The further down you go. And it makes mining like ten times harder. What's my current depth? That's energy, I need depth. Thirteen hundred meters, was that the maximum amount? I swear, this planet gets more menacing when it's dark. Sleep real quick. Oh, I I can check my fucking. Uh. <clears throat> I totally forgot I can access the stupid upgrades on Bismarck, so I did need to come in here. Be a little lenient with me. It's been a month and 17... Wait, what time is it? Or what day is it? It's been a month and... Four, a month and 14 days since I last played this game. Mark 2... And then I think I need Kyanite for Mark Three, but I need to double check that. Welcome to board, Captain. Modification station. Steel ingot and kyanite. Okay, then I think I need two lithium. Shit. Let me double check just to make sure. Yeah, lithium. You got full charge, so what's... Oh, I know what's eating your power. Never mind. I'm a stoop. <laughs> Maybe I should head back out there and start collecting some eggs.
Where is the little fella? Oh no, don't tell me he disappeared. That's one problem I have with this game on console, it is super buggy. And unfortunately one of the bugs is losing your cuttlefish. I got more person <clears throat> I got more pressing matters. Do I have titanium? Because I need five titanium, I think it said. Two five titanium, two lithium, and three kyanite. Shit. Do I at least have the Mark One module in there? That may have been what I was trying to build last time, and I just didn't build it because I'm a fucking idiot. Yep, I was trying to build the Mark One. All right. Nickel, plasteel. I think I have nickel on Bismarck. Why did I climb up more than the... <sighs> I'm just making things difficult on myself. Empty, empty, empty. Did I build nickel storage? <gasps> or did I not get any nickel? Or is it all in my prawn suit and I'm just being stupid again? No, that's empty. Huh. I swear I mined some nickel last time I played this. Uranium, copper, titanium, gold, quartz, water. Huh. Well, time to head to the Lost River. Yeah, you're so cool, dude, waking up everyone with your stupid engine. Limestone, titanium and copper, lead, silver, gold. Gold, lithium, and diamond. Come on. There we are. Okay, are all my spares... Yeah. I think I only had to launch one decoy. Nope, no decoys were launched.
Batten down the hatches. Just making sure I'm not at emergency speed. <laughs> oh, that's where the blood kelp zone is. I'm definitely not going there. One time I tried, I almost had a fucking heart attack. Not really, but <laughs> I was scared shitless. Okay, I'm hoping that was just the sound of the uh, stalker roaring and not the sound of a Reaper Leviathan. Just wanted to double check I wasn't in the wrong part of town. Last thing I need to face is a fucking Reaper Leviathan. Where this game is going to give me philosophobia. Hey, Reefies, you're awfully low to the ground. Fuck off, boomerang. Oh, something that I'm not sure if I brought up before. I'm not sure if I'll be doing, uh, Subnautica Below Zero simply because like I didn't hear it was a bad game but I heard it didn't live up to ha uh, it didn't live up to expectations especially with uh, Subnautica with the first Subnautica game now, thankfully if you would like I'm not sure if the first one is on there 
But if you have an Xbox, or if you have a PC and you have the Game Pass, both Subnautica and Below Zero are free, so if you want, if you're just in playing either of those two, they won't cost you a nickel nor a dime. Ooh. Okay. Wait a second. Engine powering down. Now wait just a cotton picking minute. I swear I had the shield already, didn't I? Advanced wiring kit, polyaniline. What upgrades do I have? Edge and efficiency, decoy two, okay. Okay, so that's something I'm definitely gonna need to take care of, cause I'm gonna need it for when I'm down from when I'm in the deep dark wait huh? the deep down dark deep down <laughs> you know what? I should probably turn around and go and take care of that Cause that totally wouldn't give you a heart attack, going to sleep hearing stuff smack against your sub. Okay, so, instead of continuing my mission, I'm gonna turn back around, cause I need... I need that shield generator, it's gonna help me immensely when I'm down in the inactive lava zone. Okay, you know, I'm going to take that off because one of these days, one of these times, I'm going to accidentally follow it. And I'm going to end up where I really do not want to be. I didn't hit a reef back, did I? Noise. 
So an interesting thing about cavitation. It, apparently, what causes it in real life is when turbine. So as we all know, ships uh, have turbines to propel them through the water. But cavitation happens when those turbines are spinning too quickly and start generating air bubbles. And those air bubbles start bursting against the... Uh, against the turbine, so it starts damaging the engine. There's a power cell, polyaniline, and advanced wiring kit. I think I have the silver for the advanced wiring kit. I swear, if you killed my cuttlefish, I'm gonna kill you. Welcome aboard, Captain. I've gotta at least have the silver for that. That's where all my nickel disappeared too. Do I not have the steel to make, or titanium? <sighs> Subnautica, the game where you never have enough titanium. So shit, that means I don't have anything for silver. <sighs> what outcroppings had silver? Sandstone, okay. Alright, come on, Ronnie James Dio. Is this the better version of Among Us without the killing all folk? I don't know if what you're referencing. Welcome. I get the Among Us thing, but I... I hate you, uh... Fox Jeff. Dweeb. Okay. No, I don't need lead. Let me see you. Uh, no, I don't think I will.
Ah, that's deeper in. Come on, silver. Yes. not in the no but it is near just to be on the safe side wrong button that'll do game Oh shit, I don't need a third thing of silver, did I? Do I? What the fuck? Alright, who's been near my base? Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. I don't see where the leak is. The hell happened to you? Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Oh, you s There we go. Oh, no, I just need gold. Do I have gold? I have gold. Here we are. Then computer chip. So I need another thing of gold. Table coral and was it wire? Do I have white copper? And I think I got table coral close by.
That's why it's different than usual. Not quite a total eclipse. Computer chip. And what do I need? Oh! That's done. What do I need for polyaniline? Gold and hydrochloric acid, and for that I need salt and deep shroom, and I am growing some of those outside. It's all coming together. Shit, how much salt was that that I needed? <laughs> just, okay, just one. Something else I needed, but I forget what it was. Or are you suddenly swimming faster? Probably took some damage somewhere. But where would it have been where it took damage? Especially considering those things don't leave the uh, safe shallows. Shit. Because I have d subject delta in there, of course. Power cell, okay. Then almost for a battery. It's copper and deep stream. How much of each? And it's also silicone rubber, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. That is not copper. That is copper. Then I need four acid mushrooms. Am I growing those, or did I just grab those from outside? Yeah, just grabbed them from outside. Two, three, and four.
Now, under normal circumstances, I would be a lot nicer to the eggs. But considering these damn things are pissing me off. There. I actually forgot what they were called for a second. <laughs> then silicone rubber, I just need. From the seats. batteries that I make. I totally didn't mean to land on that gasopod, but I'm glad it happened. Alright, I need to get rid of you. Or at least find a way to move you. doesn't show my crush depth. I need to go for the Kyanite is at least 1,000 meters in depth. Nope, that's cargo. Okay, so I need lithium. Was lithium in the shale outcroppings? Stop at base.
Né? save real quick. This game is notorious for crashing. I am insane for doing this while it was sun while it's sundown. Especially because the warper usually tends to show up near shore. Okay. I'm an even bigger. F I'm also a bigger, big fool for doing this at night because this is dangerously close to the ecological dead zone. Okay, don't get it stuck. One time I was playing this game, I uh, landed it on landed the sea moth on the beach, and I got it stuck. So I had to build a new one. Later, suckers. I'm done with this whole planet. And you're going back to, of course. Well, thank you for flying me in a circle. to encounter those stupid crab things. Hopefully it's like with the, sh uh, what was it, sandstone outcrops and these shale outcrops give me everything I need in one go. I don't I don't like being here any longer than I need to be. Oh, the 
probably all dead. I don't hear anything scuttling around. Normally, one shouldn't take pride in making a species go extinct. But just this once, I'm going to take a lot of pride in that. It's at least extinct on this island. Unless they're more hiding down here. Yeah, of course. Oh, there's lithium. Sweet. And my work here is done. It doesn't rattle. Zero, zero, zero out of ten. Worst game of the year. <laughs> zero out of ten. Too much water. I just can't believe someone gave a review on a game just because it had too much water. sack of shit. See, if the developers weren't a bunch of Nancys, I'd totally be trying to kill you right now. But I guess for now, I'll try to live in... And he's gone. I'm saying it's a bad thing. The developers didn't want you killing their killing the species on here. But at the same time, I would much rather have something that I can use to defend myself, preferably lethally if I have to, rather than stuff that sort of works uh, just to scare that so mostly works to scare them off. I should say. You know, the whole it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Uh, I do not like you. I do not like your species. Get out of here. <gasps> Ow. Shit, now I need to be careful. There's a land... What was that one called again? Biter. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Mm -hmm. Now let's get the fuck out of here. I think I heard a roar. Is I don't believe in disease gone? Yeah, it looks like it. At least that's what my chat uh, viewer thing is saying. It's probably going to be the strangest interaction I've had. Not probably. It is the strangest interaction I've had. Most of the time it's either been people being pretty decent. And then uh, the occasional bots advertising buying uh, viewers, which I refuse to do. And, yeah. Strangest interaction I've had. Although I'm sure there'll be more to come. Like I said, this planet gets a lot more menacing at nighttime. Oh no, I want to go this way. Because Bismarck is all kitted out. I need to add something to Subject Delta. I need for that depth module. I got nickel and I got lithium. Nickel. Three nickel. Plasteel ingot. And I got the rubies, so all I is this full. Oh! Ooh, I should put some of the salt back in. I grabbed too much salt. Sorry, fish. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems are live. Okay, I'm gonna s I'm gonna save real quick because the screen's freezing like that. I'm going to assume it is getting ready to crash. Or at least it's on the verge of crashing. I skipped a step. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll give you three guesses as to what s step it is I skipped. I'm sure the rest of you caught on almost instantaneously.
<sighs> that should at least put me at 1,200. was zooming holy shit uh, what am I gonna need for that heat generator Now for the more stressful part. Oh, you know, let me turn that off real quick. Return Ronnie James Dio. Because I don't want to smack it while I'm trying to turn around. The fuck? Seek fluid intake. Vital signs mm. stabilizing. What was it to make bleach? Solid coral. And that gives me two bleach, and then each bleach gives me how much water? Two disinfected water. I am going to need a lot of water while I'm down there. Easily remedied.
14 and 16. How the hell am I already exhausted? One thing that I really hope doesn't happen is uh, that I get that this thing gets attacked by the sea dragon. Cuban diamond. See, these I remember I need more of those tablets, but I don't remember how much of each I need. I hope that doesn't come around to bite me in the ass. Sorry, give me a second here. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't doing anything important. I was just trying to, I was just getting something on my phone. Actually, one thing that'll help me in my journey. Wrong one. I hope I still have enough power by the time I get down there. Oh, that's the point of having spare energy cells. I didn't smack into a... Okay, no, I smacked into something. Yay, Reefy.
steps. What the fuck was that noise? Until I get to the get deeper, this is probably the safest I'll, this is the safest place I could probably be in, is my sub. Hey, butt face. So yeah. Careful, Jelly Ray. Stay away from me. Okay. 
Shit. <sighs> Sorry, Jelly Ray. Oh, not Jelly Ray, Ghost Ray. Sorry. So I'd be saying more, but I don't really have anything to say. That's right, I'm not a threat to you or your territory. Just trying to sneak on by. Sneak on through to the other side. I don't think that's what that song was about. Shit, it's within radar range. Uh, big skeletons. I don't even have megalophobia, so I don't understand. Yeah, megalophobia. So I don't understand why big skeletons creep me out. Oh shit. I think this is the way I need to go. Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. I swear that door opening sounds like the original Doom <coughs> sounds like original Doom levels. And I only know that through internet videos cuz I didn't grow up in a time playing Doom. Heck, when I was a kid we had a Nintendo 64. That was back in the and that was back in the 2000s. I think by the time I had my first, like, air quote, modern console, that was right around the time when the next-gen consoles were coming out. Okay, yep, this is the way. Seems like it's a lot darker than normal down here. Speaking of. Shit. It 
the life tree. It is here where they are born, and it is here where they, they will die. Sorry, I'm just thinking for a moment. I'm probably going to need two more beacons. Because I need to mark the entrance to the inactive lava zone. And then I need to mark the entrance that'll lead me to the, uh... <sighs> to the, uh... Main containment facility. Oh, that's the music. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, there's something calming about being around the ghost rays. Which is funny, because in real life, rays will fucking kill you. Fortunately, Steve Irwin found that out the wrong way. Or found that out the hard way. I think my favorite bit of knowledge about that is that after Steve Irwin died, there was a bunch of people, I think it was in Australia, I might be, it may have been around the world, who were going down into the waters and killing the rays that killed uh, Steve Irwin. <laughs> it took his wife coming out saying, no, it, don't do that, they, it, was just, it was just defending itself to get people to stop. But you can't blame him, Steve Irwin was, he was the man. I wonder what draws these ghost rays to the tree. You know, one thing I kind of wish they kept in this game was the suit thermometer. Because it, really, it would be really cool to see, uh, the deeper I go, how much colder or warmer, depending on where I'm at, it gets. I'm actually really nervous going down here. Move, Ghost Reyes. I don't want to kill you. You're too majestic.
right. There are a few mo there are a few moments in a game where I dread going into that into a certain specific area. This is one of those times where I dread it completely. So first I'm going to save just in case something happens. Then I'm going to check on something with the stream cuz with how I've been doing it on the PlayStation, it doesn't tell me how long I've been streaming. At least not on screen. Okay. Do I have hitchhikers? Nope, not yet. Kitty poster give me strength. Did I get turned around? No, you know what? I just got too low to the ground. Ah, now I'm too high. It's all that space weed, man. Now before I completely, or before I hop out in my prawn suit, I am going to make sure that I get the exact number of kyanite crystals that I need. that he's there. Engine powering down. Hitchhikers? Yeah, I got one hitchhiker. That is why I needed the shield. I would highly recommend that if you get this game, before you come down here, get make sure you have that shield. 
because these fuckers ah lava larvae and what these little shits do they'll latch onto your submarine and they'll drain all the power out of it What's worse, it gets incremental with each one that's on here. Alright. How many Kyanite do I need? Oh, you know what? It might be one of the lava lizards. That's attacking me. Because I didn't have enough problems tonight. Or at least down here. No ticket. Okay. No more faffing about. Okay, so I'm gonna need three ki three kyanite for the prawn suit. That's six. Reduces heat byproduct. Hmm. Okay, so I need six. Now, the problem with kyanite, it's not like with the other materials where you can just grind it down and each uh, time you grind it down it gives you a new, uh, another one to add to your collection. I think it only gives you about half the amount of material that you would get if it was a normal uh, thing. And I need to be super careful. Because this asshole, I think I'm at that point where they will start teleporting in bigger creatures to kill me. Whew. Actually, let me turn on my engine real quick and drop down a bit further. That way I have less of a distance to travel if I need a DD now. For that asshole to leave. But yeah, when you hit a certain point in your infection, these things will make it their mission to kill you. They'll teleport you out of their vehicle, out of your vehicle. They'll take uh, anim animals from the different biomes to attack you. One, oh, that's two,
Leave me alone. Okay. So I got two options. I, need to, I can either hunt for another vein of kyanite, but that lends its own issues because I could run into some lava lizards, or worse, I could do something that will invoke the wrath of the, of the sea dragon. And I'd rather not invoke the wrath of the sea dragon. Or, I can risk standing right there and hope that I'm in a spot where he can't tell, where the warper can't warp me out of the prawn suit. It's actually really interesting. Sometimes you can finagle yourself into a position where if they try to warp you, the game can't won't teleport you out because there's like not enough space or something. It's very interesting game. Yes, it is. Okay, so you know what, I'm going to risk it, because that was a decent chunk of time before he came back in. It came back in. It's more machine than man now. Okay, I'm going to risk it. Subject out. I need to get a chance to this. I need to get a chance to play this? Um... I don't know exactly what your financial situation is, but I know it's on the Game Pass. So if you have... I don't know how it works for PC, but if you have an Xbox One, you should be able to yes, get it for I free. Don't have high -end PC. Ah. Oh, fuck me sideways. Do you have, do you have like, a Xbox? Like, a Xbox One? Okay, I'm gonna have to. I think. Have YouTuber complete this so I know that. Ah. That is strange. I've never been. I've never been in a situation where it hasn't teleported me like. Right now in playing Genshin Impact. Hmm. How is that game? I've seen it pop up a few times, but I don't know if it's worth the buy. I haven't seen, or at least I haven't seen any gameplay on it. Is that six? It's an open world game with character having power. Three, six. Yes, that's all I need. I guess I'll have to look up a video on it later on. All right. Now it's time to. Nice story. Yeah, I'm, ooh, all for a good story. I'm all for a good story. Oh yeah, you want me to intake fluids? Vital signs stabilizing. Well, this is just hanging around doing nothing. Subnautica 2 is coming. Like a, pro a proper sequel, not like some not, not like Below Zero. Oh, you sons of Sorry, no freeloaders. Either pay your tick either pay to get a ticket or you can faff off. They ate so much of my power. Ugh. Thankfully, I've got spares. Thank you. 
está But that is it. I didn't know if they were making another... If it's a proper sequel to Subnautica, that would be nice, because... Not to say Below Zero was bad, but I did see some reviews where, like, it wasn't... the best game. Or at least it didn't live up to... the standard that the first Subnautica game set. What the hell did I just hit? Any hitchhikers? Nope. Careful, ghost race, I don't want to hit you. Why are there so many right here? Like, normally there's a lot, but this feels like more than usual. What was that mineral I saw I just passed? Speaking of sequels, one game I'm definitely excited for the sequel of is The Forest. There's also one game, it's, it's an indie game, that I'm very interested in playing. But I don't know if I want to say anything about it yet, because it's, it's still in... Is it still in development? I mean, they had the concept, they have proof of concepts, they also released... I don't know if it was engine video or what, and they also have a trailer. Uh, or what would it be? It's not a pro it's not a proper trailer, but it's showing off the game teaser maybe. And one of the reasons I'm interested in it is because it seems like it's a really cool game. I'm gonna give them a little bit of free advertising. I don't remember the name of the uh, devs that are making it, but if you ever get the chance, look up Rattenreich. If you're into real-time strategy games, uh, it's, it might be a game that's up your alley. The, the the theme of the game is like super cool. It's like this, I wanna say alternate Earth, but it's definitely like an alternate reality where War or war is a constant, and like all, all the forces are based off of World War One, uh, our World War One stuff with a little bit of with uh, a diesel punk sort of setting. I think they described. And just and just from all the concept videos they have. I'm gonna call it concept videos, I don't know if that's exactly what it's called. 
But just from the concept videos they have, this seems like it's going to be a very interesting game. And another cool thing, they're porting it to console. Because they got enough backing to do that. I feel like I didn't really say anything much during that, but it's if you ever get the chance and you're like on YouTube or you're on the interwebs, look up Rattenreich. Uh, Rattenreich. And I will admit, part of my in interest is because there is, uh, <laughs> well, because one of the female characters is attractive. But my interest, but my the rest of the interest mainly comes from how they're set, setting up the story and everything. You know, what, since I'm here, I'm gonna it's gonna save me some trouble later. There was another. Oh yes, that's right. I know in the it's currently in development. I'm also excited for a sequel to Fallen Order. I really can't see. I can't see. Can't wait to see what uh, Respawn does with the story for that. Which speaking of on. What was it? I think it's Wednesday. What's today? Monday? Technically it's Tuesday now. But on Wednesday, I will stream the first episode of that. And that it's the sixteenth, technically. Oh it's the eight oh shit. So by today I should have the rest of my by later today I should have the rest of my school schedule. You don't see me. I'm not a threat. Standard and take off silent running. I hope I don't die while I'm trying to sneak past a crab squid. That is the last thing I need. That is the last thing I want for my power to die at. That is the last place I want my battery to die at. I'm sorry. Oh, I killed you too. Ah, oh, you went and died, didn't you? It's actually really funny. In uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, if you hold a fish out of water long enough, it'll it'll die. And then Arthur and uh, John will comment on it dying. Yeah, I can't. Hey, fuckface.
Sorry, I was trying to focus. Anyway, I can't stress it enough. If you are a fan of real-time strategy games, definitely check out uh, Rat and Reich. I wish I could remember the the name of the de the developer's name that are working on it, but it's definitely an indie t indie team. It's not a triple A type. And after recent events with pretty much with two of the at least two major game developers dropping the ball big time, I know there's going to be the increased demand. Not a demand, but an increased interest in indie games. Shit. Is that above or below me? As a matter of fact, I think that game is slated to come out sometime this year, but I don't remember if they gave a specific date, month. Yeah, to shed a little light, not, not, not on the game I was talking about, but on why indie developers are going to get a little more interest tossed their way. God, I think I brought this up last night, but Vanguard just, I don't know what the hell Triarch was thinking, but they dropped the ball big time. I'd ha I think people would have less of an issue with it if they didn't constantly keep saying that's supposed to be historically accurate when there's not a damn thing in there that's historically accurate. Like, uh, I think I said last night, uh, it was either last night or a few streams ago, I mentioned something about the cursed guns. For whatever reason, they added in incredibly stupid weapon modifications. Like what you would see in 20, 2019? When did that Modern Warfare come out? The newest Modern Warfare game. Whenever that came out. Like they like added attachments you would see, but try but <laughs> gave them to guns that absolutely would not have had those in World War Two. Don't crash on me. <laughs> um. Fuck! I lost my train of thought. Right, the cursed guns. And then, that's pretty much just it. Like it's they cl keep claiming it's it's historically accurate, and it really isn't. It doesn't help that the story isn't interesting, or that I don't know how true this is, but apparently a. Th Why are you taking off? But apparently, like a third of the Call of Duty player base admits to ch to cheating in Vanguard, and the developers don't really seem to be doing anything about it, or at least if they are, they haven't said anything. And then DICE dropped, DICE dropped the ball hard with 2042. I, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with that game, but overall it's just... I don't know what the hell went on during development, or what they were thinking releasing it as it is, but... They really dropped the fucking ball. Especially with those damn... I think I brought it up during my beta stream. Specialists do not belong in a call... In a... Not Call of Duty game. A Battlefield game. Especially because the specialists in 2042 
they have a ga they they have a gadget tied to them. So you're forced to only take in one gadget into one uh universal gadget into battle. Which is really irritating because it, from what I've been playing, no one's carrying anything that helps team play. Everyone's either got rockets or sting or like anti-air missiles or basically anything that can help them but they do not have anything that contributes to team play. Which also sucks because... Well, to give you an idea of how bad the team play is in the in 2042, I have, got, I have been rewarded most revives just by reviving one person. That doesn't show the state of the team play in that game. Well... And it's still it for me at least it's still enjoyable, but I'll, I from what I've seen on some comments, some from some of the comments on some videos I've seen, people are just either they're not having fun with it for very long, or they'll start off having fun and then after a few hours, it's just they're wondering why they're even playing the game. And it really doesn't help that uh, I think it was either someone from EA or someone from Dice who said that uh, the player base is being a little too demanding, which... Well, that's not the, what he fully said. I, I should say I'm paraphrasing here, because I don't want to I don't want to accidentally crucify the guy just because I didn't fully quote what he tweeted out. But it was something along the lines of, oh, we're just, we're on vacation, or we're just getting back from vacation, and you guys are too demanding of us, which... I really don't think what any of the player base is asking for is demand is too it's even any amount of demanding because like one thing I know everyone wants in the player base is a fucking scoreboard which absolutely would be nice <sighs> and like I brought up with the specialist just that's a mess and a half Oh, but the really annoying thing with the specialists is that clearly is that if you play the not clearly sorry but if you play the uh, what was it if you go up against the AI they have generic they have generic infantry skins like rush Russia and the no paths fighting for Russia and the US have their individual skins for like met for like medic engineer assault and sniper or what, however they have the classes set up I forget how but they would rather have the specialists instead of just no name soldiers which honestly would fit better with the theme of the game oh god damn it Sorry, I didn't intend to this to turn into a Call of Duty and Battlefield hate train, but... <laughs> I, d I, I don't know how to explain... Disappointment? <laughs> I guess would be the best way to say it. What did I come up here for? Power cells. Because the game that's... That for 2042... It doesn't feel like Battlefield. It's not me being petty or anything. Like, seriously, it doesn't feel like Battlefield. Like... Because... Team play is non-existent. Like I said... Instead of generic infantrymen, you've got specialists, which... Again, that doesn't fit in a battlefield game. And if they're hell bent on keeping the specialists, then at least the least they could do is just relegate them to their uh to the uh battle royale mode, which I don't think anyone plays that. At least I haven't seen any videos on it. 
And I sure as heck am not interested in playing it. Not that I think battle royales are bad, but it's... I don't know. I, I can't explain my position on it. Not without ins insulting Fortnite and the people who play it. Holy shit. That got dark fast. It got dark fast, I should say. Why does everything sound so muffled? The only game that I think has any measure of success this year is Halo Infinite, which I've only played like two hours worth of camp, streamed two hours worth of the campaign, and it's good from what I've played so far. And yeah, I know that game has its fair share of. Uh... I did have diamond. I know that game has its fair share of, uh, um, come on brain, cooperate with me. <gasps> controversy, that's the word. I know that game has its fair share of controversy, but at least the peop at least 343 has been I don't know. <laughs> Communicating. There we go. With the player base and has been listening to it. I think I brought it up. I think I brought it up last night when I was doing when during the Halo stream. That uh, I would much rather have more XP boost than uh, challenge swaps, which they did say they are going to fix that. Welcome Hell, I think after like a week of everyone of. Uh, a week? Nah, maybe a little. Let me a little more than that. But after a while of a lot of people complaining about uh, the monetization issue and the level and or like the chat. Sorry, not the monetization issue. The oh no, everything I need is in my prawn suit. After people compl complained about the progression system, there we go. They added a lot of uh, XP fixes. So that now there's like a, at least a da daily, air quote, it resets after every match challenge that gives you a decent amount of XP. And then they're changing the, uh, I don't know if they're still in the process of doing it, but they're definitely changing the challenges so that they're less situational based and more just generic based. All right. Modification station. Sorry, I felt like it. Sorry, I probably went on a rant and didn't really say much, but basically my point is there was a lot of there was a lot that went wrong with the games that were. Plasteel and Kyanites. And I got the Kyanite thing for you. I don't think I have the Titanium. And I don't know where I can get more. Then there's the Lithium issue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's only enough for one Titanium ingot.
See, if I were smarter, I would set up a base deeper down. But since I don't want to do that because of all the material I have to drag down there. Yeah, I'll just stick to this. Sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, does lithium come? Probably does, but I don't know where it grows. I have a thought. No, that's a 500 meter one. Again, I didn't mean for that rant to like be a hate train for Call of Duty and Battlefield, but definitely this year, Dice and uh, what was, who made this one? Treyarch, whoever made this the newest one, they really dropped the ball. I think what sucks the most is that with 2042, it the tr all the trailers looked like it was made it look like it was going to be awesome. It's funny. As it's, it, it's funny I start shit talking it because I'm gonna be streaming 2042 this week. I think it was. Hold on. What, how do I have it lined up in my schedule?
Yeah. Like, it's not going to be a second stream tonight, or after this current stream. But tonight is a 2042 stream. Yeah. Uh, I think I said it, but I got a bit of a love-hate relationship with the with that game. All right, I think. Oh shit! Karar is spreading. Anyway, I think there might be some lithium deposits. Thank you, music down here. Problem is, I can't check that well. Stop talking about Call of Duty and Battlefield. This place puts me on edge because I never know if I'm the right distance away from the jelly shrooms. Because if I get too close, they'll attack. I'll get a jump scare and get attacked, and that's the last thing I want to happen. <laughs> Because the crab snakes only attack you if you're right above their, uh, if you get too close to the, to their uh, hidey hole, while they're what like, above it, if that makes sense. Like if you're on the ground next to it, they won't attack you. But if you hover over it. Nothing else. There's a lot of gold down here. Okay, at this point I'm scaring myself. Cause I the reason why I think there's lithium down here is because in one of the logs, Paul Torgel does mention that there's a lot enough lithium down here down here to make a armada of cyclopes.
was that noise? Sorry, I'm suspicious of anything that even remotely sounds like a fucking crab squid. Ooh, diamond. <laughs> I really give myself the heebie-jeebies. I thought something was crawling up my foot. Although, in all fairness, there are some of these super annoying beetles that we've been getting, but that's just because we have a creek nearby. Do I risk it? There's a magnetite. No, thank you. No, thank you. Entering into unknown territory. Oh, the heat is melting my hole. Okay, I think I'm relatively safe down here. degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? <clears throat> okay. So I'm not finding any lithium down here, which sucks. So I think I'll just have to go back to the island and hope that the shale outcroppings have all what I need. I totally thought I smacked into something a lot worse. You know, this is the most I've ever explored in the, uh...
Lithium. Anyway, to finish my thought, this is the farthest out I've explored in the Jelly Shroom Caves. Sorry, I'm hugging the wall so closely because I'm trying not to set off these guys. So I think, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to go with my plan of heading back to the island. There's one lithium. The hell are you doing, pal? Actually, is there anything? Hmm. Wonder what they were observing. Or what specifically they were trying to observe.
There we go. I think at some point, I'm going to take a quick 10 minute break and get some snacks. <laughs> There we go. Don't... okay. Oh shit, I should have put that away in my... Uh. So I think it was six that I needed. Let me double check. No, that's not the fucking modifications. What is in a show mark two? So two, four. Okay, I needed two less than I thought I did. But I'm gonna need a shit ton of titanium. I'm gonna need 25. Fun.
Is that a bobo? That is a bobo. Bull bow. Oh, I just went full circle. Let's not go down that way. Sorry, <laughs> I'm super fucking itchy for some reason. It's weird, whenever I get on edge, I just get super itchy. Cape crawler is the most annoying thing in a video game. Well, I'm sure you can find more annoying things. Lithium. <laughs> Two, three, one more and I can get out of here.
Now, I need to figure out where I'm going to get 25 bits of titanium. Correction, 15. I already have 10 back at base. Did I make a wrong turn? Nah, I think I'm just overthinking stuff. Sorry, I know I'm going slow, but I'm trying to keep an eye out for those stupid cave crawlers. You know, considering this is the future, you think they would have a have more efficient uh, flood. You think they'd have more efficient flashlights? I don't know what the hell happened there. My brain just totally dropped the ball on the word. Locking animation is so weird. Get the fuck out of here. Move faster. I heard a roar. I'm going to equip that just in case I get ambushed. Okay, um, actually, how long has this stream been going for? Cooperate with me. Cooperate with me, damn it. Okay, so I'm going to return back to base. Then I'm going to take a quick 10 minute break for snacks and then I guess I'll just then I guess I'll go hunting for titanium
Let's see, I need 15. And salvageable wrecks give me... Jesus Christ, I'm fucking insane. I swear I saw a second pair of legs running in my base. <laughs> that actually reminds me, I'm not a fan of creepypasta just because, I don't know, they're kind of, they can be really lame. But there's this one channel that does Somatica content. And they found a uh, Subnautica creepypasta that was actually pretty creepy, but then got uncreepy once it started, once it got out of the game and into the real world. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up my inventory just a smidge. There. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. So. Ten minute break. And then when I come back, I'll go on the hunt for some titanium. See y'all in ten minutes.
Sorry. I said 10 minutes. <laughs> it took a little longer than 10 minutes. No, I don't want wreck. Here we are. Okay, so I need 15. Each one gives me four. So if I just grab four. So I think, yeah, I just need to grab four and then I'll have one titanium left over. Do I have anything in here? Oh, for Christ's sake, it fell through the map. I like this game, but there are times where the bugs just irritate the fuck out of me. Hell is this doing up here?
Three. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Fucking Beatles. <sighs> Sorry, I know it seems petty to get upset over a stupid bug, but they are swarming. Well, not swarming, but they're popping up everywhere. Did I overestimate how many I needed again? <sighs> Five, two lithium, three kyanite. Accustomed to synthetic foods to be removed. 
repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Yep. So quit your bitching. Sorry, I had to do that, otherwise it was going to get on my nerves. <clears throat> Depth module. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that definitely fell through the floor. Anyway, that'll do it for this stream tonight. By next episode, I definitely should be able to get into the, uh, contain the containment facility and the, uh, what's it called? Thermal plant. Uh, I'm also going to have to remember to hunt down some copper because I need to build two more uh, beacons. Three more, possibly. But that'll be for next episode. If you watched this while it was live, thank you. I appreciate you stopping by. Although, not sure what to f how to feel about I don't believe in the that guy, I don't believe in disease guy. So that, ha that has to be the weirdest interaction I've ever had. It is the weirdest interaction I've ever had. Well... If you watch this while if you're watching this after the fact, I also appreciate you doing that. <clears throat> and so by later, well, by tonight's stream, I should definitely have my the rest of my schedule. If not, well, I'm gonna have to email my my uh, professors. But anyway, all that said, just and just because I always in my streams this ways. As always, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>